So now, let's see how we can use glyphs inside of Adobe InCopy. So glyph is used when there are certain symbols or uh, characters that you can't find on your keyboard, but you need to enter them in. So I'm just going, just going to go around over here in the Xbox cell, and then I'm going to go into type, and then here you can find glyph. The shortcut for it is Alt, Shift, and F11. So if I were to click on this, you get to a menu for glyphs. So what you can do is you can select different sort of glyphs right here. Like you can search for recent glyph, you can go for a uh, basic Latin and so forth. And there are a lot of symbols that you don't find usually on a keyboard. Let's say for example, like this cross mark right here, or just like this uh, over here, like there's uh, O and so forth and everything else. So if I were to go over here on to, uh, let's say for example, the entire font, I can find a lot of symbols right here. Let's say for example, I'm going to use this tick mark. If I were to double click on this, this glyph is used. So I can go over here and double click on this and a box is there. So similarly, I can go over here and then let's say for example, I'm going to use this symbol right here. So that is how I can select different symbols. So if I were to go over here onto other things like currency, you can find different currencies as well. So let's say, for example, in the price, I want different currencies. Let's say, for example, this is going to be a dollar sign or a cent sign, just like this. You can go around and type in uh, just like this, as you can see. So you can just add in the uh, signs just like that. And that is how it works out. So you can go for different symbols right here, like there's ordinals right here that you can choose. There's like ornaments that you can choose. So different type of symbols according to what you want. Like you want uh, stylistic alternatives, you want something like scientific um, inferiors and so forth. So everything is right here, just like that. So you can go around, access all alter alternatives and so forth. You can go around, select the symbol you want. And then what happens is that the symbols that you use gets collected right here. So if you want, if you want to use the symbols again, you can simply go over here and type in uh, that, like double click that in just like that. And it appears right there. So go around, double click, and the symbol is just there. So that is how you can utilize GIF uh, glyphs inside of Adobe InCopy. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.